what is up you guys it's me again your girl Raya back again with another video now this time pretty much I know you have requested for this video from me but I haven't really done any recorded videos so uh, let me try to make it up with you guys so for today we will be discussing more information on how to farm important items that will help you improve your character in the game so we're talking about the important currencies like blue diamonds, pink diamonds, alliance contribution, and also the things that you guys can loot or farm if you're already at master level and above. Alright? So if you want to learn more information about this video, then please stay tuned. Okay? Alright, so to get things started, the first thing on our list would be blue diamonds. Now, for blue diamonds, of course, the most easiest way to actually really earn this is by topping up Mukash and then pretty much by doing top-ups in the game. But of course, if you are a free-to-play player, we totally understand that and we do support you guys on that. So I will help and teach you guys on how to earn your blue diamonds free, okay? So the first thing pretty much or the first place that you guys can farm would be the Land of Trials. Now of course for Land of Trials, as you guys can see here, you only have like around 30 minutes and you can get huge amount of experience from here. Now another thing um, that I like about this map pretty much is you can farm um, AA fragments and as well as diamonds. Now keep in mind that if your level is too low, diamonds may not drop. So please make sure to level up before you go inside the Land of Trials, so at least you can maximize the Land of Trial um, loot or drop. Now the reason why the drop for you know for diamonds is not available if your level is too low is because we're trying as much as possible to prevent dummies from being created just for the Land of Trial purposes. So please do understand why you're not really looting it if your level is like around 250 and below. Okay, so. For Land of Trials, I do recommend that you can either go solo or you can go on a party. But if you don't have any party, that's fine. You can just simply go on solo so at least you can get more experience. And the drop here ranges from 1 diamond up to 20 diamonds each drop. And the random, uh, you know, the drop is really random. So you can get a lot or you can get a really few. It really depends, okay? But for me, pretty much I can get a um, fair amount there so yeah i don't really mind that the next thing pretty much is by farming your elites so elite actually comes out like every 10 minutes to 20 minutes it depends on the elite spot that you're trying to farm now of course right now there i think that there are people that are actually farming these spots already but once you farm elite maps you can get maybe around five to ten diamonds per drop so this is actually a good way for you guys to earn diamonds all right now another way for you guys to earn your diamonds would be by killing world boss now it doesn't matter if it's on the abyssal realm or the normal boss just by simply killing world boss you can simply earn around 10 to 50 diamonds per drop now it varies and it's really random so keep that in mind okay now another way for you guys to earn your blue diamonds by is by killing the ice queen. Now I will try to make a separate video for that to explain to you guys the time zone and also the days when it actually appears because that one is, you know, it has to be specific. So I'll try to make you know another tutorial for that now another way for you guys to earn your blue diamonds would be by completing your daily quest now your daily quest all you guys need to do is just simply complete the task that is given here on this side and by completing the task you will get activeness points and once you reach 150 then you can already unlock all of the chest now the fourth chest can give you around 200 diamonds which is 100 diamonds each and that's two pieces and then the 150 activeness points chest which is the fifth chest here provides you like around 500 gems so by doing your daily quest you can get around 700 blue diamonds for that now that is 
pretty much it for the blue diamonds let's go ahead and move to the pink diamonds which is also another important currency in the game with your pink diamonds there is so much things that you guys can do not just by simply you know buying items here but it is quite important it's like another form of currency it's as important as a blue diamond so for pink diamonds you can farm this almost everywhere okay it drops almost everywhere okay it also even um it is also even given on the daily quest as you guys can see it's not really much but it is quite helpful you guys can earn it many ways number one um one of the ways where you can earn it is by digging crystal mines now if you dig crystal mines you have to pretty much dig oh they added <laughs> you have to dig the blue crystal so we have the small blue the medium blue as well as the big blue and the big blue actually provides the most number of pink diamonds now not a lot of players actually farm or do the crystal mines but you know if you have the time please do i know that the the respawn time of the crystal is not really that fast but again the material is quite abundant so you guys have to give that a try now like i said if drops almost everywhere but there are a few efficient ways for you guys to earn your pink diamonds number one is by joining devil square now for devil square if you guys cannot do this alone make sure to try to party with people around your same level the more people on your party then the faster that you guys can finish devil square you guys can also do it by pair that's what we normally do you know me and JP normally do it by pair, but if you guys have a party of five, then it will be a lot more easier. Okay, now another way is to go do Blood Castle. Now, you guys, for Blood Castle on Devil Square, you can only do this three times a day. Okay, for Blood Castle, you're given 10 minutes to actually finish the whole, you know, the whole map. Now, what you guys need to do, or what we normally do, is we stay on the bridge part for the longest time. And depending on our strengths or BP, or how fast we can actually finish the whole map, what we do is we normally move at around maybe 3 minutes to 2 minutes. And this is me and JP only, and that's just pair. And we manage to finish the, the gate, the wizard, as well as the coffin in less than two minutes. But for, you know, if, if you guys haven't really tried this, you may need to have a little trial and error before you can get the actual right time for you guys to finish. Now, you guys can spend it the, all, the whole time on the bridge, but I honestly recommend that you guys finish the whole blood castle. Because in this game, inset gems are not really that easy to get. So I hope that you guys understand that part. Now, of course, since I'm talking about an efficient way to farm your pink diamonds, the best way to really farm your pink diamonds is by going to the VIP altar. Now, as you guys can see, this one ranges from VIP 3 to VIP 5. And here, in the private server, VIP 5 is easy as long as you guys reach level 200 by completing the main quest until you reach Atlans. So, by going to Purgatory Altar... Um, abyss altar or even master altar you guys are required to pay 20 diamonds but since pink you know since blue diamonds also drops here it's not really that much of a big deal to spend 20 diamonds now here you guys can farm it almost everywhere you can farm it at the you, you know at this side of the map or even the highest side of the map that is totally up to you but it is highly recommended that you farm here in a party because if you're only farming solo, the drop is not really that abundant. I mean, you are still going to be getting some of the diamonds, alliance contribution, and the other materials, but it's not going to be that much. So what I normally do here is whenever I create a party, because usually we are a duo, I create a party and I try to open party. Now, of course, this is an arena map. If you guys are not aware, arena map or PK map, it means it's a brutal free map. So anybody can kill anyone here and they will not be getting brutal points. So try to keep your guy, you know, try to make sure that you pay attention to this map or, you know, just try not to break out a fight. I mean, PK is inevitable in this type of games. It is understandable. So make sure that you have your strategies ready whenever you guys are farming such maps. Okay, I'm just giving you guys a heads up. I got so much items. Oh no. Oh yeah, I claimed my retrieval. Sorry. <laughs> now again, um another one 
here is going to be your alliance contribution so alliance contribution is this one it actually drops in you know in the altar maps so if you guys wanted to earn alliance contribution this is also one of the best places to farm those now of course if you guys see my alliance contribution my alliance contribution right now is quite high simply because i also join events such as um, alliance battlefield and such so for alliance battlefield by the way i will be making another video regarding that to provide you guys with information on how to properly register your alliances so please do keep that in mind because further negligence to follow simple instructions will lead to not us not really sending any compensation because you guys have been warned just letting you guys know so yeah pretty much this is again the best places to get your pink diamonds so just make a good schedule time management is key if you guys wanted to earn your items now of course is it recommendable for us to stay at a altar map all day yes and no it depends on what you guys need personally which leads me to jump into the next item that is important for us to loot in the game so the item that i'm talking about would be this one so this one here is the falling star sorry the lucky star i hate it i always hate falling star and then christmas tree now these two items by the way are used in collect and exchange now if you scroll down okay if you scroll down you would see here pretty much the items that you guys can get now for the snowman the snowman actually drops from the ice queen so like i said i will try to provide a different content on that so at least i can show you guys how that works i did show this one time on a live stream but that was when i was really really weak so the ice queen was actually quite strong but now my bp is quite high so i can actually survive without dying while fighting the ice queen so we'll try to record a video of that next time okay so for the lucky star as well as the christmas tree there are items that you guys can exchange just like orange spirit orange accessories and all the extra far finale is pretty much that is in here and there are a lot of very very helpful items and most of the items here actually resets on a daily basis now a few things that i like to buy would be this one i also like to buy the gem bags but i try to maintain a good amount of lucky star because there will be times where in i'll be needing some of these other items so i want to make sure that i have enough now for the lucky star lucky star only drops in normal map as well as abyssal map so if you stay in vip altar it doesn't really drop there so i don't really recommend staying all day if you're planning to exchange or get some items from the exchange okay now next on our list is one of the most op or overpowered weapon in the game and that is the archangel so the archangel by the way drops in normal map as well as abyssal map and it also drops in land of trial now to use this all you guys need to do pretty much is be on a party you can also farm solo but if you want to farm efficiently farming in a party is actually the best way to go i'm just letting you guys know but if you guys want to farm solo again that is totally up to you but if you want it faster farm in a party if it's a max party of five then the drop may be a little bit more than when you farm solo so once you craft enough all you need is 10 to craft a you know to craft one archangel weapon rank 5 chest and you need gem of blessing as well as gem of soul and all you guys need to do just to you know to craft that is by clicking on your character click on craft and then item craft and then click on archangel you just have to have enough gold and as well as enough materials and then you can craft now of course next time i'll try to provide you guys with aa information or how much aa you guys need in order to craft a specific rank item but every day it is very important to keep on farming this one so at least you can get a higher rank AA equipment. now again it's very it's not super duper important i mean of course the game will be running in the long run so i do suggest that you you know you just balance it out time management okay time management is key all right so moving forward to the next important thing on our list and that will be the master item drops now the master item drops meaning these items only drops in places that is master level one and above so for normal map i'm talking to lock i'm talking about lock leon swap of peace Kaluten, 
um, Kalutan, sorry, <laughs> the Benter and the Niles. And then for Abyssal Realm, I'm talking about um, Lunar Sea, Plain of Legends, Giant Water River, Low Wetlands, Colorful Rock. God Escape and Tam Temple right now is still under construction, so I don't really re I don't really recommend farming in those areas as of the moment. But once this is fixed, this is also good places to farm. But for now, you guys can simply stick on the lower level maps. Now, of course, farming in a party would be much more recommendable. But if you want to farm solo or duo, that is also fine. Now, the items that you guys can earn while farming master level maps are. It would be this one, the skill book. The secret skill book, which is this one, is used to awaken your skills. Now, to awaken your skills, your skill has to be level 400, and you have to have both ultimacies activated on that specific skill. Now, if you don't have the two ultimacies activated, you are not allowed to awaken the skill. So, as you guys can see, I have a couple here that I have managed to complete, and the higher the rank, the higher the rank of the awakening, then the higher materials that you guys actually need in order for you to max awaken the specific skill. Now, of course, by awakening the skill, it adds additional features for that specific skill. Like, for example, this one, it adds healing ratio. It has immune to slow and immune to control, like uncontrolled effect. So there are advantages by gaining that. So by farming in you know master level maps then that means you can also have a chance to earn these now next one on the list would be i don't have it i just crafted it sorry as you guys can see it's there but the next one if you go to craft fruit synthesis this is another thing that actually drops from that map and it's the demon type essence now again this is only available for master level maps so please stop requesting for it to be available for level 380 maps and below because we will never do it <laughs> because even in the main or whatever it only drops in master level maps now of course once you have enough of these you just have to have gemel maya once you craft that you will get random elemental fruits now your random elemental fruits are these and if you consume those elemental fruits you will gain stats for elemental stats it could either be attack or defense it depends on the fruit you guys loot okay now the last item for now for our drop would be our red gear fragment now the red gear fragment again is only dropping for master level maps and above that's it so don't expect them to actually drop in lower level maps like 380 and below like i mentioned now how to use that is very simple all you need to do is go to collect and exchange and if you scroll down and collect and exchange you will see the variety of options for the red gears that we have so the higher the gear pretty much the higher the requirement it's needed for you guys to craft that now here's the thing and we are aware okay we are aware that the stats that you guys are getting are very very random for the red gears so what we're going to be doing is uh, you know we're going to be raising that concern of you guys have that you guys have to them and we'll see what we can do okay but of course the highest stats out of or the highest gear out of the moment is grade 13 or rank 13 red gear and again this is random so you might, guys may get like a double um double necklace or double ring it depends so again it's quite random but we'll see i am currently using a lucky strike gear as of the moment and i'm currently happy with the stats that i got so i hope that you guys find this quick tutorial useful if you do have some questions or concerns you guys can leave them on the comment box down below again i really appreciate that you take the time to finish this tutorial and i hope you find it helpful peace out xxo raya